It's not mine. Speaking about that level of control, this is this is the thing I wanted to bring up. Did you hear about the um the Windows recall stuff yet? Um I, I This is I, their new this is their new fun AI AI thing they've got going on. Oh, is it is it the one that records the entire screen and everything? Yes it you do? is. Yes it is. Yeah, I saw that on Mastodon. I didn't I didn't remember the name of it, so I need to double take for a sec. But yeah, okay, I did yeah, yeah, see okay. that and I'm like I am glad I'm on KDE. <laughs> so this is gonna be old news by the time this comes out, but let me just explain to anyone who hasn't heard about recall yet. So <laughs> this is a this is a system that Microsoft is selling as like big crazy new feature that you're going to love. What it basically does is as you're using your system, it'll be taking screenshots of everything you are doing. And then all of this data is going to be processed through a machine learning system. And you'll be able to use a search engine, basically, to search for elements through anywhere in your computing history. So one example they showed is... Uh, the person who was demoing it opened up a PDF file, and it didn't say this text anywhere in the PDF, but she searched for brown leather bag, and it took her to, uh, to the picture of the brown leather bag. So it, was, it recognized the image there, and you could use, you know, machine learning nonsense to find that content. Now, Microsoft says that all of the processing for this is going to be done locally. Sure it is. How often sure has, it is. How how often has Microsoft said that we don't collect this data? We like remember that when they first started doing all the massive data collection back in Windows 8 and Windows 10, and they were like constantly saying, like, nope, nope, we're we're not doing this. Nope, nope, not happening. Nope, we're not collecting all of this data. I don't trust Microsoft to say they're doing something locally when they have the history of being Microsoft. This data is yeah. going to be scooped. It's, it's, you know, it's either going to be like an opt-out toggle somewhere, or it'll be opt-in by default, and then some update later, they swap it from opt-in to opt-out, and it's just like, whoop, sending up as training data. Most people have no idea what training data means. So like, okay, have the data. Also, do you want to know the, 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 the most fun part about it? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to find... Give me a second. Let me just find the specific text from their documentation... Um, about what they do not hide from the collection. <clears throat> Note that Recall does not perform content moderation. It will not hide information such as passwords or financial account numbers. That, uh, that data may be in snapshots that are stored on your device, especially when sites do not follow standard internet protocols like cloaking a password entry. So... If you ever do that thing, you know how a lot of websites have that little toggle where you can, like, show your password? If you yeah. ever do that, your password is going to be saved, basically in plain text, just on your computer. <laughs> yeah, because Windows is totally the operating system we want that happening on. Like, you don't even put all the whole, like, this is spyware, because it is spyware. It is spyware, so, yes. Put put that aside for a second. It's Windows. The most popular desktop and or er, desktop operating system in the world right now, still. And you know, the same operating system that all the malware are, are developers, I almost said artists. That would have been funny in <laughs> They're the They're basically artists. Uh, all the malware developers target. And, you know, we have all these info stealers. <laughs> You know, that's going to be a gold mine, especially if the AI is running locally. Yeah, well, it, it, we're running locally. So let's say you have some sort of malware, right, that prompts the... Let, let's just assume that Microsoft isn't collecting any data. You have a, a bit of malware that will send prompts to the, the model, and it's like, okay, give me password fields. And then just collects whatever data that it is and sends it off to whoever. Like, what's to stop that? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I, 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 and I'm very, very into cybersecurity. Like, this, that's, that's what I'm into. I'm, I'm actually planning on going into 
computer networking for college mm -hmm. in a year or so whenever mm -hmm. I stop having to go to so many eye appointments. Mm -hmm. uh, because game dev is something I do as a form of art and creative outlet, mm -hmm. but I'm really into cybersecurity. And when I read this stuff and, and, and hear about it, the first thing I think about is, well, I'm a black hat malware developer. How can I take advantage of it? And if the AI is running locally and storing stuff locally, um, I'm going to be able to find where it's being stored. And eventually, I'm going to break through whatever encryption, if any. And <laughs> if any. <laughs> I doubt there's going to be any, um, realistically. Uh, and I'm going to look through it, and and maybe I might do some like big data analysis on whatever's stored in it, however it's stored. But mm -hmm. eventually, I'm going to find passwords, and I'm going to immediately send them off to some C2 server, and boom, you're pwned. And, and and all because Microsoft thought it was a good idea to put spyware on your computer. Well, and let's uh, sorry, um, let's not even talk about the password stuff. If you ever use an encrypted chat application on Windows now, <laughs> all those messages moved. pwned. Every single yeah. one. Of them. <laughs> Encryption is dead on Windows. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter if they're end-to-end -end encrypted if there's a screen out of them right on the device and there's OCR in it going on. <laughs> as soon as it's oh. render rendered on the screen, you're screwed. And and thinking about me for a second, mm -hmm. if if I were still on Trixel, I would not be able to use Windows mm -hmm. because what else would be on my screen that it would be tagging and, and reading? I didn't even think the of The source that. code of Restit, which I signed a contract that says I'm not allowed to share. Mm hmm Yeah, I didn't and even think of that. And my computer's just sharing it. If you're, if you're using, like, Windows in some sort of... I don't know, let's, let's, like, uh, let, let's make it super serious. Like, some sort of military context, for example. Like, that might be top-secret information. <laughs> Yeah. It might be information that if leaked, they'd make you disappear. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, like, it's Microsoft thinking. Like, I, I, I'm totally flabbergasted by it, and I'm, I'm glad that I got Linux working. I really am. How, how long do you think it's going to take for some three-letter agency to come to Microsoft and say, we want the information from someone's computer and see exactly what they're doing? I'd have to wait for about two femtoseconds. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you're doing anything, <laughs> just don't use Windows, but uh, if you're doing anything even remotely, remotely sus, just Windows is not suitable. Now, there's going to be a toggle to turn it off. Absolutely. I don't but trust... Will it do anything? Well, not even that. Let's assume it does. I don't trust Microsoft to not change the toggle after an update. That too. And that's if it even does anything. Yeah. <laughs> this might... Like, I, I think this might actually be the worst spying that Microsoft has ever done. Like, we can talk about the whole, you know, advertising collection, f tra uh, tracking where your cursor is on the screen. Like, yeah, all, all that stuff is fine, but... Having a system that effectively breaks all encryption, I think that's the, by far the worst. And I, I don't want to say it can't get worse than this, but I can't think of how it can be worse than this. Me neither, but I know absolutely it's going to get worse because we said it can't get any worse than this with Windows 10 and look where we are. <laughs> Now, I'm not opposed to the idea of doing a system like this, right? If you know you have complete control of the data, I think this is a cool idea. I just don't trust Microsoft with that data. Like, if you wanted to run something on, like, a, a local server, for example, that you knew exactly what was running on it, like, that's fine. Yeah. Like, I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, it might not be the thing I want to use, but I think that's, that is a cool bit of tech. I just want to make sure I know where that data's going. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I, it, I don't know if there's a company I would trust with that data, but I, I can think of companies I would trust more than Microsoft. Yeah, me too. I, I might trust KDE with it. I might trust Maybe. Nextcloud with it, but not Microsoft. No <laughs> way. 
Oh, God. I don't know, like, people, whenever things like this happen, right, people talk about how there's going to be, like, this big rush of people to Linux. And there will be, but... Oh, there will be, like, a, a couple of people. But most people, like, this is the sad thing, right? Most people don't know this is happening. Or if they did see... If they did see it, like, this this announcement, don't care. Like, I, this, th this was so annoying when I was watching this. I was watching a streamer talk about this happening... And he didn't understand at all what was going on with this. And was like, well, this isn't any worse than, like, browser cookies or, like, a browser history. It's like, no. It's so much worse. This is every single thing on your computer being collected and, <laughs> and easily searched through with an AI model. Like, it's so much more than that. Yeah. And, and and as far as people switching to Linux, I, I always kind of sigh when people say that there's going to be a huge exodus from Windows to mm. Linux. Y you can hope that, and, and one can hope that it'll happen, but realistically, mm. it's it's not going to happen. Because most people don't care. Most people use Windows because they grew up on Windows, and it's like the operating system they use. It's their computer. Um, most well, people, people who are even annoyed at Windows mm -hmm. won't even, won't even, like, They'll, they'll think of Linux as this really complicated thing, and unfortunately, they're right, because Linux as a whole is, I'll be honest, a massive mess, and there's a lot of things that could be done better about it. We have way too many distros, which is in itself is confusing, because, because how do you recommend a distro to someone who doesn't know what Linux is? We can't just throw them on Ubuntu because you don't know what they're going to be doing with that distro and if Ubuntu is going to work for them or if that layout is going to work for them. Mm -hmm. There's so many desktop environments, which is great if you like messing with desktop environments and seeing what you can do with them. But most people just want to open their computer and have their computer work. Mm -hmm. um, and then most people rely on software that just does not exist on Linux yet. Mm -hmm. Most people have hardware that don't work on Linux. I myself have a headset that, until very recently, because I actually programmed the driver for it, I could not use one of the main features on it that I use mm -hmm. on Linux. It was a Windows-only feature. Um, and people are going to stay with Windows because Windows works for them, no matter how bad it is getting in terms of being spyware. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate, but that's just the reality of it. Nobody's going to jump hip a few people might like people like me the power users might but most people are it's not gonna switch 